Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we have this beautiful S63 TU engine out of the M5. We're going to be setting timing. Today I'm going to show you how I set timing to the engine. Now, uh, it's worthwhile mentioning whether you have an S63 or an M63, the process is exactly the same. So if you have a TU engine, if N63 TU or an S63 TU, the process is going to be the same and the tools are going to be the same. If you have a non-TU S63 or an N63, the process is also going to be the same, but the tools are different. The tools for the TU engine are a little bit different than the non-TU. The process is the same, however, so that's just to give you guys an idea because I have plenty of people messaging through uh, YouTube and even Facebook asking for the process of the N63 and well, they are actually the same. The engines are the same, the block is exactly the same. So most of the stuff that you do on the S63, actually not most, all the stuff that you do to the S63, you can also do to the N63 because they are uh, the same engine with a couple of different parts such as piston cams, a couple of other bits and pieces, manifolds. That's just to give you guys an idea. But nevertheless, I already put the two Venus sprockets in. These bolts are new, okay? The bolts must be replaced when you're doing this operation. You cannot reuse the bolts. And you need to grease the bolts uh, before you put them in, which is exactly what we are going to do now. We are going to use ARP Ultra Torque Assembly Lubricants, which is uh, pretty much the same. So what they mean by lube the bolts is we have to put some grease behind the head of the bolt. So when we apply torque, uh, this gets uh, spread evenly onto the sprocket and doesn't take any torque to actually turn and just stretch the bolts. So this is pretty much how we do it. Just put some grease around the back here. Next bolt. Beautiful. Now with that done, I'm going to put this guy here. There we go. Now for the other side. Same thing, put the chain around the sprocket. I'm gonna try to sit the sprocket onto the cam. Yeah, there it is. And now I'm going to get the bolts. And I'm gonna put the bolt in. Now, this is just hand tight. Very, very important thing. The timing kit basically comes with three tools. One of them is to lock your crankshafts, and this is one of the most, actually, the most uh, important thing, but I've seen people trying to do the alignment procedure without actually locking the crank, and, and that makes no sense. Timing the engine is nothing but synchronizing all the cams to the crankshaft. When your pistons are going up and down, they don't go up at the same time as the valve is being pressed down and, and, and hit each other. They have to do exactly on the perfect timing so they don't hit each other, if that makes sense. Uh, and in order to do that, we have this special tool which is fitted to the crank and it's locked in place. So this is what BMW calls 150 degrees before top dead center four cylinder one. And once this is done, we're gonna come with these other tools, which are locking the camshafts for bank one and the camshafts for bank two. Now, I didn't actually put the bolts on the side here because I want to show you guys. And what this tool does is, it grabs the camshafts by the slots here and make sure they are perfectly aligned. So when you put them back in, they're going to slide gently and they're gonna go all the way until they touching both of the sides of the engine head and this is how i know the timing is going to be set properly next thing is the tensioner not all timing kits available in the markets uh, have the tensioner the reason why i personally like to do the tensioner is because well 
this sprocket everything in here is locked but this one say for example when I put torque on this boat if I have the normal tensioner here and that is an oil the BMW genuine one is activated by oil it does have a spring inside but the oil pressure actually hides them up and makes it put more tension onto the guides without that what happens is when I try to torque this this is going to stretch the chain and I could get this sprocket out of position the cam is still going to be locked in place but the sprocket is going to turn out of position and that's the reason why every time when i'm going to talk this if i'm doing bank one i'm gonna have the tensioner on bank one once i finish bank one i'm gonna move on to bank two and do the same thing i'm gonna transfer the tensioner onto the bank two talk the boats correctly and then we're gonna take everything out crank the engine twice so two revolutions why we have to crank two revolutions because every one revolution every once the engine rotates the camshaft rotates just half. So we have to rotate the cam crankshaft twice and then come back with the tools and try to fit them in to see if it works. So let's go. So with the bolts in place, we have to torque, pre-torque these bolts to 30 newton meters. I'm going to do the exhaust sprocket first. That's 30. That's 30 newton meters. Now, we need to apply 90 degrees of rotation. So 90 degrees for this guy. Uh, 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 uh. 90 degrees to this guy. And 90 degrees for this guy too. And is that easy okay so the Venus sprockets are actually held in place by torque and it's not the most reliable system in my opinion there is a keyway down here which uh, sets the timing sprocket onto the crankshafts but not onto these guys so not, not on the cans now we're gonna do the same thing to the other bank so in order to do that as I mentioned first I'm going to remove the tensioner Now we're going to torque them to 30 Nm 30 Nm to this guy Now 90 degrees of rotation Yeah, that's zero One, two, three, go uh. This guy. Okay, technically we are all set. Now, reminder, that's something that is not on the books, but it's something that I like to do every time I'm putting this together, is to carefully clean. I have some isopropyl alcohol. I use a little rag and I carefully clean the back of the sprockets where they is gonna attach uh, to the cams because again even though you have a lot of oil circulating through the venous sprocket where they actually sit you don't want any movements in there so I won't give any possibility I won't I won't give any chances so that's the reason why I like to clean the surface as much as I can before I put them together before we crank the engine to check if the timing was set correctly we need to install the other chain tensioner 
None of the timing kits I've seen available on the market would come with two manual tensioners, so we have to install the BMW 1 into one of the banks before we crank this engine over. Now let's see if you can crank it. That's one. That's one turn. And that's another turn. Where is the lock? There it is. Right on the spot. Now let's grab the tool. See if we can slide in here. Yeah. Perfect on this side. Perfect on this side. So beautiful. This is how we properly time an S63 or an N63 engine according to the books.